Hi and welcome. My name is Kevin Amalsh. I'm the founder of Pine Financial Group. Pine Financial focuses on working together so you succeed. We're a hard money lending company based out of Denver. We loan in Colorado, Minnesota, and we just started doing some business up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now our niche has always been 100% financing. Uh, all of your purchase, your repairs, and your closing costs. Now we have multiple loan options depending on where you're located and what you're trying to accomplish. So if you wanna get more information on Pine Financial Group, check us out at pinefinancialgroup.com and um, or you can give us a call at 303-835-4445. Now what I wanna to talk to you about today is something that's important to me because I've seen people get hurt doing this. And what it is is gap funding. Now, we at Pine Financial Group do not like gap funding, and there's uh, multiple reasons for this. Gap funding, if you're unfamiliar, is just like what it sounds, you're covering a gap. So let's say you're borrowing money from Pine Financial Group, and we loan 70% of the properties after repaired value. Well, if you're buying the thing, purchase, repairs, closing costs, and you enter it for, say, 80% of its value, then you can go out and potentially get some additional money from other investors to fund the gap of what we won't cover. Um, so that's gonna be a junior position loan, typically behind another private money or hard money loan, and you're just funding the gap of what the hard money lender won't cover. Now from a investor, a real estate investor's point of view or the borrower's point of view, this could be a fantastic strategy, right? Unless you're doing extremely marginal deals. But if you're 72, 73% of the value and you're still gonna be profitable, and the hard money lender is gonna cap you at 70. Um, this is a way that you can get into the, into the property with no money down. So it is attractive if you're borrowing money. But if you're on the other side of the transaction, if you're the lender, I've seen lenders lose 100% of their money doing gap funding. Okay, here's how this works. Uh, if you're not strong enough to buy out the first mortgage, and, they're gonna, and there's a default and they're gonna foreclose, you're gonna get wiped out. I had a client call me just the other day. Um, we're gonna call him John. John's an extremely sophisticated investor working with us, and he does some lending on his own. Now, he financed a house. He financed 300,000, okay? Now, in this loan, in this loan was, was $40,000 allocated to repair the property. What he asked for with this $300,000 loan is a $30,000 down payment. So fix and flipper, borrower, if you could come in with $30,000, we're gonna finance you all the money, to the rest of the money to buy it and to repair the property, basically is what happened. Well, this investor here in Denver didn't have the $30,000, so she went out and borrowed it from another investor virtually committing fraud because she did not tell John that it wasn't her money. She borrowed this before she closed on his loan. Okay, and then she didn't disclose it to anybody, uh, which is fraud because you sign an affidavit at closing saying there's nothing that's gonna create any liens on the property, which clearly was not the case. Well, here's how it goes. She starts drawing the 40,000 off of John's loan and she goes out to the same investment group and borrows another 40,000. So she has a total of $70,000 from this investment group that has no idea what's going on with this loan. This loan has no idea what's going on with them. She borrowed the $40,000 twice. Well, it turns out she was unable to complete the project. The house never got rehabbed. Sorry, I kept jumping out of the camera there and John started the foreclosure process. It was at that time he was notified of the other investors and he learned that this is an investment group of eight investors chasing higher returns. So they're not working with a reputable company like Pine Financial or another reputable hard money lender uh, to help keep them safe. They went out chasing the higher returns. So he foreclosed. What do you think happened to this $70,000? If you said it disappeared, you are absolutely correct. They lost 100% of the money because they're not strong enough to come and pay off this $300,000. So chasing a 10 
or 12% return when you can invest with Pine Financial and earn a steady, solid 8% return ended up costing them everything. So I highly encourage you, if you are gonna be a private lender without working with a professional, learn the business, understand what lean position you're going into, and be able to have a plan B if there's a default so that you can protect your money. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to, you can shoot me an email. My email is kevin at pinefinancialgroup.com. But hope you learned something. We'll talk to you soon.